Hey there guys, Howie here from CanadaVapes.com. Today we are going to be doing a instructional video on the CE2 Clearomizers. Let's get started. Okay guys, here is the CE2 Clearomizer. It is a uh, top heating rubber mouthpiece unit. Uh, it's, I think people like it because it is relatively inexpensive and it's not a big deal if, if uh, you gotta replace them because they're pretty cheap. Um, and they also produce actually a surprisingly good amount of vapor and throw hit for their size. I think of the small clearomizers, uh, this is right up there with the uh, S510 as far as the amount of vapor it produces. So I'm gonna show you how to fill it. Uh, and there isn't really much else to it aside from filling it. Um, and then we're just gonna kinda take a couple hits. Uh, some people like the rubber mouthpiece, some people don't. Um, it is a little bit, it's one of the more difficult ones to fill, not going to lie, it's uh, a lot more difficult than say the S510, which just allows you to drip into the side. Um, however, if you can get over that and you don't mind a little extra work, um, it hits pretty well. That's a decent product. So let's get started. So the first step is just basically going to be to unpop, unscrew, or not unscrew. It's just a rubber sealed in mouthpiece. You just basically pull it and it comes out. This is just a plastic, somewhat flexible uh, outer shell here. Now inside you're going to see, you're basically going to see a big hole in the center. This is not where you fill. This is the airflow hole. What you're going to look for is two tiny pinholes, uh, quite small on either side. Um, you're going to see two of them and this, these are the fill holes. The first time you use them, they're going to be quite tight and difficult to get your needle into once you've used them once or twice. They break in pretty nicely and uh, and it's pretty easy to fill. So in order to fill these guys, you either need a needle tip um, or some sort of a, a skinny device. That All the kits, the starter kits, come with one of these, which is a 10 mil uh, e-liquid bottle that has, of course, a needle tip on it. So for this, uh, you're simply going to find one of those two holes and you're going to, the first time, slowly insert um, to make sure you don't push everything away. So you slowly slide it in there and you should relatively easily get underneath there. Once you're in there like that, you're simply going to squeeze gently and let the liquid start to flow in there. Um, again, once you've filled this, uh, once or twice it gets easier because the little flow holes get more worn in I guess you could say and you just kind of squeeze a few times let go so that some air can come back um, it's a little bit easier with a, a needle because then you know you know it holds I believe it's exactly one mil uh, but you'll know after one fill how much it holds and then you can basically pull on the needle the exact amount that it will hold. So I didn't fill it all the way to the top, I left a little bit of room at the top. And you just push that down and you're good to go. Um, these are, are fairly uh, leak proof. Um, I would imagine if you have it upside down for a day, it'll probably start to leak. Um, but overall, they're, they're pretty sealed, they're pretty good units. I, I didn't get any liquid on my hands while filling it. Um, obviously, you're gonna want some paper towel around just to preventative measures and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it there isn't really much troubleshooting to them um, just obviously they are plastic and you know you don't want to be smash smacking around too much they will um, they're not due to their inexpensive price point they're they're kind of designed temporarily as you know last in a few weeks maybe 20 20 refills give or take and uh, then you're gonna go ahead and pitch them there's no replaceable parts in this, um, so these are more uh, throwaway kind of temporary guys. But anyway, um, I will show you how it vapes and uh, throw it on a battery. Let's get into that. Okay, so here you have your uh, just, just a standard 510 manual. It's a mega battery, uh, black, and we're just going to go ahead and hit this. I just filled this now. Uh, I actually haven't used one of these in a while, so. We'll see if it has much of a break in time.
No, it hits, it's, it hits fairly well right off the bat. And it's, uh, again, it, it's a decent hit. Uh, that's what I think a lot of people like about this. It is a uh, fairly wet hit. You get a good amount of taste of the liquid. Um, I know some earlier model clear misers have a tendency to mute the taste quite a bit. I think the CE2 does a good job of, of bringing the liquid taste to the forefront. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a good little device. The, the main downfall is it's a little bit tricky to fill. So, if you vape a lot and you, you're filling your your units a lot or filling them on the run, you're going to want to look at either an easier to fill model or a larger capacity model. But for the 510 style where you have the small cigarette type device, I think the CE2 is definitely uh, a decent product. So. Now the rubber mouthpiece does take a little getting used to. Almost everything is either metal or plastic in uh, most devices. And this is kind of rubber. So I mean, some people love it, some people not so much, but it's, uh, it's different. Um, yeah, so I mean, this is the standard 510 connection. You can attach this to Eagle batteries, twist batteries, the any vape, uh, any vape batteries, all the ones, they all work. So that's what it's gonna look like. This is just the any vape twist standard um, battery. They do best at 3.7 volts. I'll, hit, I'll kick it up to 4.3, get a little higher and see. Yeah, that immediately gets burny tasting, so you don't want to go past the uh, 3.7 volts on these things. They're all standard resistance, so. Yeah, it's a good warm vapor. Um, no complaints at all about the, the ability or the production of it. Again, just the filling would be the only issue to some. And again, once you kind of get used to it, um, the airflow, or excuse me, the filling holes will break in once you fill it once um, to make it a lot easier your second time. But just be careful when you're, you're pushing your needle into fill that you go in nice and slow. And obviously for maybe some older people or people who have some vision problems or, you know, maybe some uh, difficulty with small things, this probably wouldn't be the best solution to them just because it's a little bit more difficult to fill. But yeah, overall, a great device. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments down below. Shoot us an email, support at canonvapes.com. Um, if you have any uh, testimonials on these things, feel free to put them on the website under the uh, reviews. And uh, other than that, that's about it for these things. They're pretty simple, pretty basic, pretty cheap. So uh, try one out if you never have. Uh, pretty decent product. This has been Howie for canonvapes.com. Thanks.